Transforming a basic 3D model into fully rendered interior visuals can often be a lengthy and complex process. In this video, I'll show you how to take a simple model and quickly apply a variety of styles to explore different interior design directions. By generating full 360 degree renders, you can understand the space from every angle and make more informed design decisions. Even better, these 360s can be then brought into a web-based viewer for fast, intuitive side-by-side -side comparisons. And if you want to take the interactivity even further, the workflow can be extended to convert your scene into a 3D Gaussian splat for immersive real-time experiences. First off, if you want to go straight from text to panorama, instead of using an input model, this can also be done in Nano Banana. This is straightforward as long as you use the prompt structure, which starts with Create a seamless 360 photo of. Then you add in a description of the scene you'd like to create. Then very importantly, at the end, add aspect ratio 2 to 1. This will keep the image seamless and the correct ratio will allow you to view it in a panorama viewer. It does a brilliant job at tiling the sides, although sometimes it has issues with the seams directly below and above your central viewpoint. You can keep the floor and ceiling plain to allow easy tiling, or you'll just have to edit these afterwards. This is quite an abstract and atmospheric interior scene, but it works for all types of environments. Here I've added a prompt for a library with a concrete ceiling grid to push the AI. The detail of the books and shelves are incredible. The ceiling grid flows very well, but right at the center where everything stretches, there may be issues for when this is put into a viewer, so keep an eye out for places like these. Generally, for images which have windows on either side, these are seamlessly connected together. And then a Banana Pro does an excellent job at it. When viewed in 3D, you can see that results are very impressive. You can see every corner, all the materials in high definition, and I'll show you later how you can interactively view these generated panoramas. Now, if you want to work with a base 3D model that you have created, this can be done in any software, and it doesn't need materials, just the main space. For this, we only need to create a plain render of the 360 to capture the space. Here I'm using Rhino 3D, and most renderers and real-time renderers have a feature to take a 360 from any point in the model, such as V-Ray or Enscape. I will be using Twinmotion, as it has a plugin for most of the major 3D modeling software and very easy to use. You just need to install the plugin for the software you're using and use the correct version. You will also need to download Twinmotion from the Epic Games launcher. To bring this model into Twinmotion, you have to have it launched and have an empty project open. And in Rhino, when you install the plugin, there'll be a Datasmith tab and you can press the synchronize button at the top. Then over in Twinmotion, at the bottom, there will be a import button here. Click the plus button and you can use a direct link to import that model that is open. So you can see here the name of the Rhino project, if it is correctly synced. Just keep everything as default and press import. After a minute or two, all the geometries will be streamed in. Head over to the interior and pick a room you want to render out for your various options. Position yourself roughly in the middle of the room so you can get the full 360. To create the base image, press the media icon in the bottom tab. And if you click plus, it will save an image of the current scene. We don't need this, I'll delete it. What we need is the panorama. And this will be the fourth icon, which looks like a panorama. Press the plus button and it will take the 360. This is all we need. To save this out, go to the export icon at the bottom tab. And on the right, there will be an option for panorama, since we have made one already. Hit the plus button, select that one panorama, set to PNG, and start the export process. Now we have a very ugly looking panorama, but it has the correct space and geometry to make our AI styles. Colors and textures are not needed, so you can export an even simpler 360, as the AI in the next step will take care of all of this. Nano Banana Pro does an excellent job at sketched image and creating seamless panoramas. I will be using Gemini Pro, they currently offer one month free, but this can also be done in Google AI Studio or via API. The key to the prompt is to use this template shown. So you enter the type of room 
in the first blank space, such as living room, and then enter the architectural style in the second blank space. Following that, you add in details for colors, atmosphere, furniture, and so on. And at the end, enter, keep the same aspect ratio and 360 tower panorama. This will then match the space exactly from the input reference, but completely bring it to life to match the details that were added. This would be hours of manual work to do in 3D software. Since the original image was a perfect seamless 360, this render will also tile seamlessly, so no edits needed when loaded into a panorama viewer. Using the same prompt structure, we can then go through a selection of styles you want to render for the interiors. In the final step, these will all be brought together into a free panorama viewer, which is easy to switch between. And since they are all using the same space structure, they are very easy to compare. You can even try out night shots, different environments, where you can see through the window, or more complex scenes with many objects and furniture. Once your selection is generated, you can upscale these using an external AI software, or ask NanoBanana to upscale them to 4K, since this feature is available. To view all these, I built a free panorama viewer, which you can access freely from this website. The source code is also available on my GitHub, so you can clone, edit, improve, and even run locally. It is incredibly easy to use. Just select the upload icon, pick one panorama or all of them at once, and immediately it will load them into a galley at the bottom here with all the small thumbnails, so they're easy to recognize each option. I've added in the original massing model to show how the AI has transformed this into beautiful spaces. What is amazing about this workload is that the images load and switch instantly. So by flicking between options, you could compare the exact same angle and space. This is great for comparing material options and different furnitures that you've picked out. In NanoBanana, if you drop in a reference of a piece of furniture, you can add that directly into the panorama as well. With your mouse, you can drag up and down and rotate as expected. You could even take this further to create hotspots and render out other rooms to move between. This is actually quite a typical VR technique, which is used in visualization. But now it can be generated incredibly rapidly. This app could also be extended to generate the styles with NanoBanana directly in the UI via API. So you don't have to use the Gemini Pro app at all. All the source code is available here, so feel free to hack away. If you want to go even further and move into the world of 3D generation, you can use these panoramas to create full room 3D Gaussian splats. I've gone into detail in a previous video, so I won't do it here. But using the web app Marble World Labs, you can drag and drop this image into the UI as a 2D input and have a 3D scene created. Advantage is that you are no longer limited to one viewing point and can move around the whole scene. Of course, there are limitations as the quality grades around corners and in the distance. But since you have generated all the panoramas, you could create 3D scenes for each of these. And since Gaussian splats are very versatile, you can view and import them into many platforms such as Onview Engine and even web apps. You can upload your Gaussian splats to this web app, which is free, and I'm currently developing. And in the same way as the images, you can switch between the Gaussian splats. Using the WASD and mouse controls, you have full access to the model. Limitations with this workflow are that it takes a few seconds to load between options and you would need to clean the splats before importing, as on the outside you can see a lot of messy geometry. It is also difficult to compare these spaces with Gaussian splats as you need to scale and align them for all the options first before importing. However, there is plenty of space for development in this area. Feel free to try out these free tools and let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for improvements.